All right, guys, so as expected, Apple has now officially released a second public beta for iOS 26. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the latest new features and changes added to iOS 26 with the second public beta. Now, Apple did release the fifth developer beta just a few days ago. But in today's video, I wanted to share and focus on the second public beta and some additional new features and changes that I've discovered within the software over the past couple of days of using developer and public beta. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now the first thing I want to talk about is two new splash screens available within the latest iOS 26 public beta 2. Now when you launch the Apple Music application on the latest beta, you'll notice this right here. This is a splash screen showing off some of the latest new features and capabilities coming to the Apple Music application with iOS 26. Now we also see the same thing happening within the Notes application. You see here breaking down some of the latest new features and capabilities within Notes for iOS 26. So on the latest public beta 2, you'll you'll see two new splash screens and with future betas we'll most likely see additional splash screens for different applications perhaps the photos application the camera the notes the messages I mean everything will most likely see a splash screen by the time the official final release of iOS 26 but as of right now we have two new splash screens on the latest beta 2. Now something else that's new within beta 2 is new animations throughout the operating system for example if I swipe up to unlock you see the passcode there has sort of this really cool bounce effect let me go ahead and show you that here quickly so let me go ahead and swipe up as you can see there you have that bouncy effect right there on the lock screen which is really cool and this also translates to the control center so if I swipe up through the control center you see there a sort of bouncy effect which gives the OS a lot of life you can also swipe down stretch just like so again a lot of physics going into the animations and the way the operating system feels within iOS 26 and I would love to see more of this and we'll continue to see more adjustments to you know animations and the liquid glass with future updates but yeah I really like the new animations and I'm sure once you update you'll notice this right away. Now with this latest beta Apple also added a new classic switching for the camera application so if you jump into settings and head on over to the camera settings here on your iPhone for the latest beta you can scroll all the way to the bottom and right there it is classic switching so classic mode switching allows you to switch through the different modes for the camera application just like you would within iOS 18. Now with iOS 26 you would have to press on the bubble and then scroll well now you can go back to the natural switch in between modes using that classic switch mode right there within the camera settings for the latest beta now apple also added a new icon for airdrop now i don't know if i like it more than the old one but right there it is that is the new airdrop icon it is blue as you can see right there so yeah that is something that apple has changed here within the latest beta i think i prefer the old one but let me know in those comments down below which airdrop icon would you prefer the white old one or the new blue one now for the first time on the latest iOS 26 beta adaptive power has enabled on my device as you can see right there now this feature basically will adjust performance on your iPhone to extend battery life so I've been using my iPhone more than I normally do so my iPhone determined that it was time to activate adaptive power and again you see your iPhone is adjusting performance to help extend battery life so this is a feature that will automatically using on device intelligence will determine if you're using more battery life than you normally do throughout your day and it will adjust performance in order to extend the battery life for you on days where you use your iPhone more than others. Now we also have a new low power mode animation as you can see right there so we have the low battery indicator with a new pop-up that you can enable your new low power mode on your iPhone within iOS 26. I really like the new animations, the new options, the new features that Apple has added within the latest beta so there you guys have it that is the latest on ios 26 public beta 2 of course stay tuned here to the channel if i come across any additional new features and changes i'll make sure to follow up with another video have a great day guys and i'll see you on the next one peace